Hello, dear user. I'm very happy to see you here. I'm Julia Nesseret, SEO of Geroctopus. I'm really willing to show you how it all works here. Let's dive deeper. Firstly, you should definitely start at our SEO efficiency section located in ideas. Here you will find out the part of your website which is not visible for the Google bot, potential crawl budget waste, and the most effective SEO part of your website, the pages which are inside structure, which get Googlebot's visits and get impressions in SERP. So what, you will ask? Having analyzed the Google search bot's behavior at your website, by the apps, by the number of internal links, by the content size, by title duplications, by non-indexable, you will understand what exactly to change so to attract the search bot to the pages which are ignored now. We have all possible ways of Lox integration. We do recommend to integrate Leaf Lock Stream. You will have your raw logs at hand and you will be able to eliminate any errors after each product update, even for the last three hours without any time lag. So you will find your critical errors and fix them right away before the Google search bot or any search bots come and index that. This insightful SEO efficiency visualization is possible when all three datasets are integrated. Logs, Google Search Console, Crawl. Watch how to videos in this section. Get your website indexed well with our SEO efficiency tools. We are analyzing up to 40 different search bots. In the dynamic section, you will find your crawl budget in visits, crawl budget in pages, how often the search bot comes to your website, and a lot of analytics. Here it is the bot dynamics, the status codes the bots get, the bot loading time, the dynamics of status codes, dynamics of load time, mobile desktop in terms of visits and pages, then the dynamics of it, what versions Googlebot use, and sitemaps bot downloads. Alerts! It is your SEO safety. Now you will sleep well. You will never miss any SEO error. You can easily create as many alerts as you want. On your on-page SEO house, search bots activity, your efficiency in SERP, core web vitals. I want to watch load time for the Google search bots, so if the load time is greater than one second, I would like to get a notification. This check-in should be done every 15 minutes. I can test this and it is already fired, so there are already fired alerts. I will pick up the way how I want to get a notification, either email, SMS or Slack. We are putting the name, Google bot, load time, one second and save. So the alert is created. Let's jump to Google Search Console alerts, keywords. I would like to monitor URLs which contain product And I would like to monitor CTR. If the average CTR decreased for more than 3% at the URLs with product, I will get the notification. And there are crawl alerts, core web vital alerts, and millions of possible combinations. You just watch how to video, use cases, and you will get how to work with it. Let's speak about Jet Octopus Crawler. What is special? It is the fastest crawler on the market. We are capable to crawl up to 250 pages per second. You can easily change the number of threads even during the crawling process. That all depends on your servers. It's important to mention our top-down approach which we apply in our crawler. We prefer at the very first stage to visualize all your problems by categories with the scale of this problem, how many of your URLs have these or those type of problems, how far these problems are located, 
it will help you to prioritize your works by scale. Eventually, it will have the bigger impact on your on-page SEO. The logical work with the crawler. You enter overview, you watch your problems by categories and watch some analytical charts in the overview and start with the problem you are interested to dive deeper. All the charts are clickable and you are transferred to the list of URLs with problems by this particular category. It was HTML, so we have the list of duplication problems. And with the concrete list of URLs by problem, with the filtered list of URLs, you can export it right away from here or you can click on the list uh, to dive deeper and watch on these URLs, to filter them, to play with the data, and to optimize at the end of the day. Links over you. We are having sections dedicated to internal links, and to external links, and have a lot of options to analyze your interlinking efficiency. So, first of all, you are having the dashboard with numbers concerning your internal links. Then you have the problems list as usually, then you have the pages grouped by the number of the internal links on the page and we have the most in linked group of pages which have more than 500 internal link on the page but it is only 46 pages. You can click on it and you will be transferred to this list of URLs. And Linkin Explorer, here you are able to analyze each URL in details. How many total links, how many pages are linking, uh, how many of them are no follow links, text links, image links, then everything about from where if the pages are indexable, uh, in links anchors from all pages, from indexable pages, what are they, then uh, all about the images, what directories and how far the pages are located which have these links to the page a lot of interest in here and one more thing is structure efficiency this is a very vivid chart where all three data sets are automatically overlapped uh, crawl data set logs data set and google search console and here you are able to analyze site structure efficiency by directories you see your directory how many pages there are how many of them are open to indexation, the average number of internal links by this particular directory, the pages which are getting the Googlebots visits, the pages which are ranked, the number of impressions these pages are getting and serve, the number of clicks, uh, the average position of this directory. And clicking on the directory, you will be able to analyze by subdirectories in the same criteria. Segmentation, this is what you have to work with since the very first day of the usage. You are able to build simple segments or complex segments, I mean simple like uh, building the segments by categories, by product or the URL contains and the complex segments where you are extracting the information from all the data sets you have integrated in our dashboards. So the most performing like visited by Google bot, etc, etc. And the number of the segments is limitless, no extra for that. After setting up the segments just once, you will be using it all the time. For example, right now we are in a context section and we are analyzing content in all pages. But if I pick up indexable only, you see that the data is restored automatically or let's say most performing segment and you see that the data is different and it works in all the sections of jet octopus please watch how to video here and you will get all the needed information if you have javascript our jazz performance dashboard is for you so you will have your first paint, first contentful paint, page loaded, all requests completed, load time distribution, browser performance events. You will have JS errors uh, grouped for you by types. Right now there are no JS errors, but usually there is a table with it. Don't forget about your Core Web Vitals checkings. 
the main differentiation is that at Jet Octopus you are able to analyze your core web vitals by categories, by segments, not just URL by URL. The last thing to mention in our crawler is custom extraction tool. You are able to extract all additional information you need for your analysis. It is very handy for big and huge websites and there are a lot of rules you can use. Again, don't forget to watch the how-to videos. Welcome our Google Search Console on steroids. What's inside? I want to start with extensive keywords analysis. All keywords, new keywords, lost keywords, zero clicks keywords, winners, losers, with a lot of preset reports. So the new keywords, the ones which were never getting impressions before, and right now they started to get impressions in SERP. The lost keywords, the ones that were getting impressions before, and right now not anymore zero clicks keywords that are getting impressions but no clicks yet these are your closest SEO opportunities just work with the title or meta description your winners and losers by impressions clicks CTR positions showed in the dynamics compared to the previous period of time and the losers again by impressions by clicks by CTR by positions gone from top 10 a lot of time is saved because it is all already preset and grouped. You are getting the correlating URLs by the concrete groups. Dynamics. Analyze your SERP efficiency in dynamics. Rankings change, impressions change, clicks change, positions change. Again, you pick up any period you are interested in. Here you are getting performance by impressions, clicks, CTR positions, and my favorite chart, pages with growth and drop. Right now you have one chart with all the URLs grouped by growth and drop by impressions, growth and drop by clicks, growth and drop by CTR, and the same by positions. All the pieces of the chart are clickable and you just click and you are transferred to the correlating list of URLs with all the needed dynamics. It is magic, isn't it? Positions. All rankings by positions just in one chart. The lighter the blue is, the better. You can pick up any period of time you are interested in. And visualize the situation for the checked period. Countries. You have a separate dashboard dedicated to the efficiency by countries and a very important thing, a country filter. You will have a country filter and will be able to analyze any section in your Google Search Console by countries. You just pick up and all the data is restored respectively. And URL inspection where you are able to analyze not URL by URL, but by segments and get your coverage status, indexing state by the whole category of URLs. In inspected URLs, you will be transferred to the correlating data table with all the needed information. If the URL is indexed, not submitted in sitemap, if it is crawled, but not currently indexed, etc. And a cherry on a cake. Join dataset option. Join all your SEO datasets in one place. No Excel work is needed anymore. You just join, you add as many filters as you need to get the most of SEO insights in one place, on a fly. Look how it works. We are getting our pages closed from indexation. Then I would like to know if they are visited by the search bots and getting impressions in Google Search Console. I join both logs and pages in logs datasets and the data from these datasets is available right now. So I pick up visits count and I pick up impressions and clicks. And here it is. We see that these URLs are closed from indexation, but they are getting Google search boss visits. They are getting impressions and sometimes even clicks. Here it is. And you can play with the data in many ways and extract really deep insights on the fly. So easy and so quick. So welcome on board and let all your rankings get the highest positions this year.